In this video, I'll show you two ways to publish a desktop image in VMware Horizon Cloud on Microsoft Azure. First, we'll publish an image to be used in a single pod. And then we'll publish an image that can be used in multiple pods using the Horizon Image Management Service. On the Getting Started page of the Horizon Universal Console, expand the Desktop Assignment section, and in the Images row, click Go. Notice that we've been taken to the Images page in the Inventory list. Then click New. In the New Image Wizard, the location and pod settings are those that I configured when I deployed the pod. For Desktop, I'll select this desktop that I previously imported from the Azure Marketplace. That desktop name will then be used as the image name. The company name you enter specifies the registered organization and owner. For end users, it will appear in the About Windows dialog box of their desktop. The time zone is already set to the one I want to use. Next, you set the admin credentials that you want to use for the local administrator account. When we convert the VM to a published image, besides running sysprep to customize the image, the process also resets the admin password. The VM then goes through a Horizon Cloud sealing process. To start this process, we'll click Publish. To get updates on the process, click the Refresh button. We can also click the name to see the detail page for the image, whose status is in transition at this point. We can also monitor progress by going to the Monitor Activity page and clicking the description. In the Activity list, you can see the percentage of completion. When the process is complete on the Images page, the status changes to Published. OK, so one of the ways to convert an image, which is equivalent to the process we just did, is to go to the Images page, click New, and then select the imported VM that you want to convert to an image. Another way is to go to the Imported VMs page, select an imported VM, and then click More and select Publish to Images. That would also publish the VM to the Images page here. But if you realized that you wanted this imported VM to be used as a multipod image, then you could move it to the Multipod Images page. Give it a name. I'm going to call this one Win 10 for the HR department. And I'm going to create a marker called Production. Markers are used by the Horizon Image Management Service for desktop assignments and automatic updates. For example, to update which version of an image a user gets, you could move the marker to a different image version. We're going to be creating version 1 here. Next, we set the local admin credentials, like we did for the other wizard. When you click Move, the VM disappears from the imported VMs page and reappears on the Images Multipod page. Click the name, and you see that the deployment is now complete for version 1. Next, select that version and click the ellipsis button. From here, select Publish. In this Publish Image Wizard, you only have to specify the company name and time zone. We already specified the image name and admin credentials when we used the Move to Multipod Images Wizard. You can also review and change some Horizon Agent settings if you want before clicking Publish. In the list, you can see the marker we added. If you hover your cursor over the status icon, you can see that the image is publishing. Again, you can also go to the Monitor Activity page and click the Refresh icon. I've sped things up a little here for this video. This image actually took five minutes to publish. You can click the Description to display the summary window and see all the actions it took to publish the image. When you go back to the Detail page for this image and click the Refresh button, you see that the status changes to Available. The VM image is now available for creating a desktop assignment. If the VM image were a server or multi-session VM, it would now be available for creating a farm.